I'm Tim. I'm a senior firefighter for Christchurch Airport on Blue Watch. Thanks to my parents, I've been coming out here since I was about three years old. I've been taking photos at Christchurch Airport for the last few years. I got my first camera when I was learning to fly and it all came together naturally. So at the moment we're standing on the old part of Avonhead Road, the intersection with Grays Road. Uh, this spot is fantastic for any aircraft taxiing to take off to the north, as well as any landings on the Norwest runway, runway 29. Uh, this is a great spot for families. Just remember, take your rubbish with you. Don't feed the birds, so these are a massive hazard to any aircraft. Remember, don't park too close to the fence and don't twist the wires. Also, please keep any emergency egresses, such as gates clear for our fire trucks. Hi, my name is Cooper. I've been taking photos for about five years at uh, Perth Airport and Christchurch Airport. I like spotting a wide range of military and uh, commercial aviation. Uh, but anything uh, big, awesome. This location is the, definitely the best spot to get up close and personal with the, uh, the aircraft that come in here, especially spotting uh, right in the corner there. You can get close to the taxiway and to the, uh, the apron as well. The best aircraft to spot here were um, probably Sophia and the C-17s which come on a regular basis to Christchurch Airport. They're definitely the, uh, the best things to spot uh, taxiing past here, along with the, some of the Hercules that do come along as well. The best spot, without a doubt, for night photography. Uh, my probably best shot I've ever got has just been from right here of the, uh, the Boeing 757-1 that uh, parked up here. So it is definitely the superior spot for uh, the night photography. Hi, my name's Graham. Uh, I'm a plane spotter with my daughter. I've been photographing planes for a couple of years now. Uh, photography is my hobby, so I'm lucky I've got a decent kit. And uh, yeah, it's turned very nicely to plane spotting. Uh, we're standing at one of my favourite spots. This is uh, Wairaki Road at the Antarctic apron. Uh, we like this spot because of the Antarctic planes, uh, especially the C-17. Uh, I'm quite well known for photographing it. It's a fantastic plane and I was just attracted to it just what, the first time I saw it, so that's my main reason why I, I like this spot. This is the western end of Herewood Road. Remember the road is closed, so please park and walk down to this spot. It's fantastic for zero two takeoffs to the north and any takeoffs or landings on runway 20 to the south. This spot is fantastic in the morning from sunrise until the sun moves around at about 11 a.m. This spot is a great vantage point because of the small hill and it means you don't need to get close to the fence or touch the fence to get nice clear photos. So I'm at the uh, spotting location just opposite the International Antarctic Centre. This spot is uh, my favourite for the morning plane spotting. Uh, watching all the Hercules and the C-17s power up, this is definitely the, uh, the spot to be. This spot is also really good for uh, night photography and getting really up close to some of the Hercules that do park up in this spot just opposite the Antarctic Centre uh, every now and again. It's definitely uh, the best spot and you can even uh, get close enough for phone photos. So this is Aviation Drive, the road to the Canterbury Aero Club. This spot gives a great overview of runway 02 and runway 20 and any departures off runway 29 to the west. This spot is best for photos in the afternoon from 1pm through until sunset and you can get fantastic photos with the tower and the port hills in the background. So this is the Pound Road uh, location by the radar tower. Uh, this, is a, this is my favourite spot around the airport. Uh, we see approaches from the south and then we can also see the takeoffs from the north and uh, look at the tower lineups. So. Uh, Absolutely perfect spot, really like this. Uh, spend, spend quite a bit of time here. Issues around the airport with lighting, just, uh, just with a bright sun. So this spot is definitely best at 1 p.m. onwards through to sunset, just, just with the lights we see at the moment. I've just got the sun behind me, uh, which it doesn't work well for, for photographs. The current location, uh, perfect for, for tower lineups, as you can see behind me. It's absolutely ideal watching the approach and the tower lineup and also on takeoffs. Uh, we quite lucky we've got about a kilometre and a half of Pound Road to move up and down, so you can certainly pick your location. So if you move further south down Pound Road, you can get real close to the approaching planes and look at the belly of the plane. So there's various angles and uh, just be creative. Aircraft wise, this is uh, where most of the land is in Christchurch from the south. So we, we 
pretty much photograph everything, so Air New Zealand, uh, special visitors like uh, Vanuatu, uh, the Antarctic plains. So uh, it's, it's, I think, one, one of the best spots to be for to catch everything.